Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you're watching me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, as you can see, we have a lot of guests today because today is my Mother's Day special part one. And for this Mother's Day episode, I am going to be answering, we are going to be answering the questions that you sent on Instagram. So, me and my daughters, China, Romaine, and my son, Dallas. <laughs> so, Dallas, yes, because he's sorry he couldn't fit in the frame, so he's like there. Um, we are going to be answering all of your questions. Thank you for your questions, and I'm going to give some of you a shout out as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with a question from Angela Gano. Hi, Angela. The question is Who's the most funny in the family? Me. No. Me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say one, two, three, and when I say one, two, three, we all say the same. I know. Okay. The name. Uh, one, two, three. China. China. <laughs> I okay. I don't what? think any of us are funny. I think we're all just annoying. I think I'm funny. Yeah. She's funny in an annoying way, not really funny. Like she doesn't really have a very. But if someone was funny in the family, it uh, would be. Still no, no. Ramin really? has like a sarcastic sense of humor. Dallas is just funny because of the innocent things that he says. Um, me, I'm just like plain <laughs> funny. Oh. <laughs> okay. The next question is also for me, but my kids can help me answer. Do you have a favorite or do you play favorites? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm gonna say yes. one, two, three again, and then you say the name of my favorite child. One, two, three. Me. Dallas. <laughs> yeah. I think it just goes with whoever's the youngest at the moment. So. So I was never the favorite. You were the, yeah. you were the solid favorite for four years. You and had then four years of my undivided attention. I yeah, and then Hello. she had a whole like eight years. And, and stop complaining because I, I really invested years. the most in you. Because I'm the eldest. <laughs> you know, but like all of my, I know everything I have given to you for your life to let to to allow you to become the person that you are right now. <laughs> so don't complain. And I don't think that's a good investment emotionally and financially. I'm her like, favorite in terms of sino gusto ng pagalitan or yung pagalit <laughs> Next question from my favorite follower, Rovi. What are you gonna do on Mother's Day? So since we're in quarantine. <laughs> I don't know, probably nothing. I'll, I always ask them, you know what the best is, you know what the best activity they could give me is on a special day? Answer. Monopoly. Leave you alone. Yes. Monopoly. Naps. Yes. Monopoly. Give me time to be alone and to nap and not have any of you nagging me. <laughs> we don't nag you, we just like to go here. Exactly, it's yeah. the same thing. You know, like when I'm trying to take a nap, which I hardly ever do anyway, someone will really bother me just for the sake of bothering me. <laughs> it's fun. <sighs> yeah, it's fun. Who has attitude problems? One, two, three. Everyone! <laughs> what did you answer? At the time. What did you answer? Dallas, what did you answer? Um, you said mama. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> what did you say? I said China, you what? said everyone. Right? I said everyone. Okay, I think I am the... everyone has I a think, course. I think, no, 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 I think everyone. Everyone but has their own course. She's the but you're the one about her attitude problems. It's like, when, she ha when she's in a certain mood, everyone has to know that she's in that mood. Exactly. Who? You! Who? But it's not all the time. <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> Man. 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 I don't have attitude problems! No, 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 no. She does! I don't. <laughs> No one really has an attitude problem. We're all like really nice. Of course, like you can get cranky. Each one of us can get cranky. China can get really cranky. Ramin can get really cranky. She can like close the door and lock it and not let you in when she's cranky. I can get cranky. And shout at everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another one. Okay, we answer one, two, three. Who poops the most? One, two, three. China. <laughs> She takes the longest time yes. to poop among all of us. Like, <laughs> but in my scene, but are you beginning. watching a movie? <laughs> yes, actually. Like, are you I'm watching my oh not movie? But I'm using my phone. Or are you finishing one episode of your series? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. She looks so hard in the bathroom. Okay. So coming from Tess, how do you handle three kids in quarantine? How do you handle the stress? Wait. How do you handle the stress of handling three kids in quarantine? Hugs. It's not stressful at all. Yes, of course, it's a bit noisy and they're also very messy and I hate mess. I can't stand mess. Yes, she always says like I'm very OC, but I'm not Naman. I'm not OC with mess. I just really can't function with a lot of mess. She's OC with mess. Like the bed, it's done right. Like it's very neat and everything. The moment you just sit on it and then stand up again, she's like, I'm trying to fix <laughs> Maybe not to 
little OCD, they just slightly OC and yeah, so they're here all of the time, like 24-7, so it gets messy and that really drives me nuts. But aside from that, it's okay, it's been fun. They're, um, It's more of like they're losing their mind, not me. <laughs> Especially this one. <laughs> She's like, you know, how do I describe it? Poppin. <laughs> What's poppin? Yeah, she's been like extra hyper. It's really nice to have Remain around. Cause yeah, so she does everything for you. For you only. <laughs> uh, so it's really nice to have her around because she's not here all of the time because she studies in Manila. So I'm actually thankful for this time uh, with all of them. Otherwise, like, it's only me and Dallas usually that's here, like, all of the time. So I'm thankful. I'm not stressed that they're here. Um, next, okay, medyo madramang tanong from my follower, Phoebe. Phoebe de Guzman. Hi. Uh, the question is, What's the most difficult thing you've done to your mom and likewise? Oh, can I answer first? I can think of it already. I think everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's being in a relationship that she didn't approve of. Uh -huh. I think that was like one of the worst years of her life. Yes, that was like, it gave me like, li not literally, but metaphorical gray hair. <laughs> but like, take note, it was like only a few months and I feel like she felt like it was years. No, wait, not a few, few months. It went on for like it was than, less than a year. It was less than a year, year but still like, like it felt like more than a year. What's, uh, what's happening? What's happening? Who you are? Okay, you. Worst thing that you've done to me. You want to? Is this this is the time for? I uh, know admitting things that I don't know. I think it's the time that I didn't really care for my grades. Like I would always flunk and I'd just be like. You didn't flunk? Oh, you don't know that she did. I know. What do you mean, like tests? Like yeah, even her report card was like seventies. Remember that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a waste of tuition that I wasn't studying. Yes, but anyway, her grades are really high now, so all's well that ends well. Dallas, you want to answer that? Uh, What's the worst thing you've done to mommy? Uh, accidentally kick her knee. Yes, yeah, she yeah. does that all the time. <laughs> Just like FYI, I had knee surgery and it's still healing and we sleep beside each other. Sometimes he kicks it by accident. Oh, ac all of the time it's by accident. But like when he kicks it, I'm like, ow. <laughs> yeah, okay, so and likewise, right? So what's the worst thing I've done to them? Okay, so the, what, the worst thing that I've done to China is that like, you know, when she was in that relationship that I wasn't, uh, I mean that I was against she was in college back then and like um, I got her like a studio type apartment to rent across the uni um, I because she kept insisting to date this guy I stopped giving her allowance from grocery um, basically basically <laughs> basically I cut her off from everything she didn't even want to pay for like the other half of my tuition that's yeah, I was like, so you know, much. if you keep insisting, then just drop out because, like, you're gonna ruin your life anyway. So, that's do I should <laughs> just totally ruin it anyway. That's like, exactly like, I'm not paying for your said. rent or your electricity. And, you know, you guys may be, like, really shocked at that. You may think, like, why didn't you just let her make her own mistakes? Ganyan, matututo rin naman yan. Well, you know, don't judge me. I've had very hard experiences, and I don't want my girls to experience those. So, ganyan talaga ako sa kanila. And I have a very, very sharp mommy radar, okay? Like, my mommy radar is, like, unbelievably sharp. So, I know what the guy is... Uh, I can't swear because like Dallas is here, uh, you know. What? What? You're, no, you're about <laughs> to swear. Able. Yes, I, I really know who is a good guy or not. At least for you, maybe for me, no. But for you, yes, I'm a I good know. guy. Okay, to remain like the worst thing I probably did was maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, but maybe it's like because when she was really young, I left for Singapore and I, I worked there for like a year and she was left in, in Manila and she was still quite young. So, and when I came back or when I got her back, she was like really like. Masculine. <laughs> like, like, Where'd my little girl go? Like she used to be so like feminine and stuff, and like parang na uno walang siya ng um, mother influence parang ganon. The worst thing I've done to Dallas, he's gonna say spank him with a belt, but I don't agree. That was totally for him. Um, <laughs> because it made you more disciplined. The worst thing, and it still continues, is that I often shout at him when we homeschool. Because <laughs> Dallas, <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, I'm homeschooling because of circumstance, not by choice. Although homeschooling is great, but like to homeschool, you really need to have like a ton, a ton of patience. And I do not have that. Okay? Impatient right here. <laughs> okay, next question from Aliana from my Instagram. Um, what makes you proud of your mom? She gave birth. To three wonderful children. Oh, well, I have blessed you throughout, Shia. 
Uh, she practically raised us on her own. Like she's a single parent. She's not with well, some help. With some, with some help, of course. With, with a lot of help for for my part. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. But then like, uh, she's practically a single mom. So like, and she is a single mom. She is a single mom, and she's uh, raising her kids in Singapore, oh, which isn't even that. her home country. I have so, one. Yeah. Are you done? Oh my god, she's gonna cry. No, 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 to a really good job because you know when she got preggers with me she was very young and like she was graduating college palang so she started like <laughs> she started she started as a McDonald's girl. That wow. was just a summer mom. Really. I was so proud of you, mommy. I was still in college then. I was just I'm graduating. Like, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. McDonald's. She gets pregnant with me, so parang her first job talaga was to provide for us as a family. So from her small, small job, I don't even know what her first job is. I think some perfume company or maybe like yeah, was like a marketing or, assistant. Yeah, from a marketing assistant. And now she's ahead of Southeast Asia. Career goals! Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. This one, how are you and your mommy different? I'll answer, and I'll answer, okay? Because I answered this before now in another video. It's very simple. I your know mom. this already. It's like this, very simple, okay? Romain and I have like the same kind of skill sets. We're good at the same things. Whatever we're good at, um, she's not good at, okay? So, uh, yeah, I don't have her skill set. Um, but in terms of personality, I think me and her are more alike. It's just that she's more of what <laughs> Whatever I am, she's like 200% right on you. <laughs> my difference between my mommy and gender. <laughs> okay, describe mommy in three words. I, I thought of some. Uh, I thought of a phrase. Okay. Stage I mom know. who is also on stage. <laughs> what do you mean? I, like, you're, like, you're like making us perform. Sh you're making us perform and everything. You're like rooting for us. And, and you're like, also there with us you're performing. <laughs> you're the one who's in front. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> me, me, me. Mine uh -huh. is goal oriented mm -hmm. and extra. Yeah. That's the reason. Yeah, I'm a okay, bit extra. I have, but I have. Like in the in nice ways, na nakikinabang kayo sa pagka extra ko ha. Everything that I'm extra in is yours. Like I'm not extra for myself, I'm extra for you. <laughs> diba? Like everything I prepare for them or do for them is extra. Hindi po ay simple lang. Okay, I can't, I can't like have a simple birthday party for them. Hindi to do it. Kailangan extra. I you wanted the simple 18th party, <laughs> like with a dinner. <laughs> I get that when I walk in, I look Can't like Imelda Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> cannot do, cannot do. And like when they're going somewhere, or like a special, I don't know, when they're going to like an event or something, I can't like, hindi pwedeng they look simple. They have to look <laughs> extra. They have to be like the best dressed. So uh, yes, extra, but only in terms of like me being a mom. I'm extra as a mom. Dallas, Dallas, three words to describe mommy. 50% peaceful 50% Okay, so that means I have mood <laughs> swings, I guess. <laughs> right? Is that what yeah. you have to say? <laughs> okay, next. How is, your, so how is the relationship? How is the relationship? The, the family dynamic? Uh, we're okay. We have a good time. I think we're pretty tight. Because we're, we're very we're tight, tight. yo. Competitive. We're very malambing and we spend a lot of time together whether we like it or not. Yeah, okay. That's okay. That's competitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're competitive. Yeah, we're competitive. Okay, okay. Our Monopoly. Better than yours, miss. <laughs> Monopoly what? nights with us, it's crazy. Gross. All of us are yeah. against Except each mom. other. Except mom, mom's less competitive. Yeah, it just makes them <laughs> no. Mad. Especially no. Oh yeah. Well, well. When it's okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yes, I'm also competitive. Last question. Well, What's your funniest experience as a family? Oh, oh, one time is when she, we were in we were in Japan and then <laughs> we were walking around, walk, 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 out of nowhere. Yeah, Dallas wasn't born. Yeah. No, he oh, no, he was, but he wasn't there. Okay, he was yeah. big so it was like a flat surface, literally just ground. And he was, she was just walking. And then big lana out of nowhere, we hear a, ah! like literally everyone on that same street. And it was a very busy street. Everyone just looked back, and it was mom, and she started bawling. Like it was after that, ah! she was like, ah! <laughs> They're really loud, and it was because she just sprained her ankle from walking. She didn't even fall on the ground, okay? You can't see, like, just she sprained. Like, it was she really like, tripped. It was really painful. May I just say, I sprained 
my ankle from falling from <laughs> being lifted, okay? And then I like fell with no one to catch me. I wasn't that. <laughs> it was just because like there was a broken tile that yeah. gave in. Mom even has a high tolerance pain. Yes, I do. Yo. Yeah, it's weird, guys. She gave birth to three kids, and then that's what she screams about. <laughs> but in fairness, naman to me, it was a serious sprain. I couldn't walk na for the remainder of the no, trip, no. Sprint. And like it was, <laughs> it was really mud. <laughs> like it looked like a freaking mountain for yeah. not sick. That's <laughs> true. Okay, so that is it, I guess, for this episode. Episode. Thank you for sending in your questions. Thanks so much, and uh, watch out next week for the, my part two Mother's Day special. It's gonna be a completely different topic, and I'm gonna talk about being a single mother. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And follow me on Instagram, not for Facebook. Boom, 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 boom. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye! Bye.